ones Ooh. that gods care about <gasps> is themselves. Holy crap! Ooh! This is my vow. All gods will die. Ooh! Yes! Hey y'all, welcome back to Neverboard with George. I'm your host, George, and today we'll be reacting to the new official trailer for Thor and Love and Thunder. This movie has a lot of hop hype going into it. It's actually the fourth Thor movie, and, and you know, it, it beat the trilogy cycle. It's not going for its fourth movie, and I'm super excited to see what this movie and this trailer have in store for us. Guys, enough about what I have to say. Here's my reaction for the official trailer for Thor, Love and Thunder. Kids, drink the popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the Space Viking. <laughs> nice. He was a god. Oh, sweet. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new tune. Was he god shaped? He went from dead boy to god boy. And after all that news, he reclaimed his title as the one and only Thor. <laughs> That's oh, good. Too soon. Oh. Hey, yo, that helmet CG looks a little rough, though. <laughs> hey. Ooh. Holy crap! Ooh! This is my vow. All gods will die. Ooh! Yes! Yo! Damn! Ooh! Ooh, okay, powerful Thor. Damn! Ooh! The Guardians! God damn! Yo, okay, okay, I'm excited for this shit already. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. And flip! You flip too hard, damn it! Okay, I'm I'm impressed. Not too bad, but uh, that CGI though was a bit rough on that helmet. But uh, yeah, guys, you just saw my reaction for the new trailer for Thor: Love and Thunder. A couple of thoughts. I love seeing Christian Bale as Gore. I love the design. I like how there's this black and white vibe when it comes to this character. I know like that's how he designed in the comics, but it looks like in his scenes and it looks like it, the third act's gonna be on this crazy dark necro world planet or whatever thing it is. I, maybe it's his home planet. I don't know, but he has a vow to kill gods and looks like he's gonna fight. Thor and Jane Foster's Mighty Thor as well. Honestly, the only gripe I have with the trailer was that that one shot of the Thor's new helmet was a bit rough. I, I really, it really took me out of the trailer, which I mean, hopefully they have time to improve it before release. All, all I'm saying is I just hope that they have a chance to take a look at the movie again before they release it in theaters, just to sharpen up some of the CGI bits. But other than that, I really liked, you know, seeing Gore the God Butcher, Jane, a little bit more Jane Foster's Mighty Thor, as well as seeing more of Thor and, and Korg as well. I did like Korg in the third movie, so great to see that as well. Uh, something I do hope from the movie as well is for them to explain how Jane got her powers and got became worthy of Mjolnir, especially since after they broke the hammer in the third movie because Hela did destroy Mjolnir. It would be nice to cut for Marvel in this case to show and not tell how Jane Foster, you know, got the hammer and how she repaired the pieces or whatever, what she did to become worthy as well. Was she worthy from the get-go? Are they gonna go with the storyline where she has like a terminal cancer and then because she become worthy of Thor, she gets her illness cured? I don't know what route they'll go with Jane Foster and Mighty Thor in this, but honestly, she looked great in that teaser. I like her in this trailer. So hopefully they do her justice show her. She's badass. 
smart but also isn't just there to feel like oh let me just be the love interest for thor I'm like no you have mjolnir this time not only do you have the brains to back up what you can do but you have the brawn you were a you were a, a candidate for a, you were literally a vessel for an infinity stone so honestly jane foster's thor has some pretty high expectations i have pretty high expectations for thor as well I want Beta Ray Bill as well. Hopefully he makes an appearance in the movie. But he wasn't in, in this trailer, so I hope he does appear in the movie. If you guys don't know, Beta Ray Bill is an alien in the Thor comics who is also worthy to carry Mjolnir. And because he's worthy to carry Mjolnir as well, Odin decides to give him a new hammer called the Stormbreaker. It's an all gold great hammer. But it's also, the, the namesake is also barred for Thor in the MCU because his current uh, weapon, his god weapon, is called Stormbreaker as well. So maybe we probably won't get that uh, Beta Ray Bill in this movie, but I'm still excited to see it hit the potential for him to be there and reference as well, because he was referenced in the third Thor movie on the statue for when he was on Sakaar. So that was great to see. Well, guys, I'm also excited to see what other characters they will bring in this movie as well that they didn't show in the trailer. And uh, follow with me on this, guys, but Gore the God Butcher is, is sent to, you know, his whole bit is to destroy all the gods. What are the other instances of gods have we seen in the MCU? I think the most recent reference is in Phase 4. We find that the Eternals on Earth and also around the may, oh, potentially, you know, around in the universe, but at least on Earth, were used as reference in myths and legends for Earth. So my logic and reasoning is that depending on what gore's definition of what gods are if he counts the eternals and the celestials in the definition of gods then i am looking forward to potentially seeing some eternals in appear appear and bring some str some extra difficulty for gore to overcome but also for them to you know set the stage of how strong gore is because if you don't only butcher gods but other eternals as well maybe even a celestial i don't know how crazy they'll go in this movie to show how powerful gore is but when he has that sword and he's in, in, in peak anger honestly guys he, he has the character motivation to go far and beyond he's one of the best villains in thor mythos so i'm looking forward to see how what if uh he kill out uh what his definition of gods are that are besides you know the you know the greek and norse pantheon i want to see him go after eternals as well that'd be really cool to see as well uh we didn't see loki i don't expect loki to appear in this trailer at all i think you know they've already kind of set the stage for him on disney plus for his loki show maybe a reference to him would be nice to be like oh he was my brother or whatever but i don't think there's a need to bring in loki in the movie and if he is there that's great but if not no worries a side note also would they count uh <laughs> khonshu as a part of the gods that gore wants to kill as well is that gonna be a secret tie-in that's a stretch to say the least but hey you never know how marvel be doing things so we'll see how how, how they approach that as well but guys, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching another trailer reaction for Neverboard with George. Give this video a like if you like my reaction and my guesses and analysis. Uh, subscribe if you want more MMA, anime, and other reaction content. There's plenty more on the way. Guys, I'm your host, George. Hope you have a good one. Peace.